Developing right now a search for a killer in South Florida after an up and coming rapper is shot dead. 20 year old XXX Temptation killed in an apparent robbery. Police say the artist, whose real name is Jose Onfroy, was leaving a Broward County motorcycle shop yesterday when he was shot by two men who ran up to his car. Deerfield Beach, the rapper XXX Tentacion has been shot, apparently targeted while shopping for a motorcycle. Chopper 4 was over the scene on North Dixie Highway near Sample Road. The Broward Sheriff's Office says they got a call about the shooting at around 4 p.m. They say the rapper was transported to an area hospital where the Sheriff's Office says he died. Bruta Bay, this is something that has really stunned fans of XXX Tentacion, a rising star here in South Florida. Fans began to gather here right after learning about the shooting that claimed his life. They just held a moment of silence, but they've been here listening to his music, praying and lighting candles in his memory. In the world of music and artistry, some stars shine bright for a moment, leaving us in awe of their potential only to fade away far too soon. One such enigmatic figure was XXX Tensacion, whose life was tragically cut short at the age of 20. What really happened during those last hours? Did he sense his ending drawing near? I may have this facade that everybody thinks it, it is X per se. But behind this facade, there's a whole different person. That's why Onfroy was weak. Nobody gave a fuck about whether my emotions were, were perfectly intact. Nobody gave a fuck about how I felt. So the whole point is the appreciation. I appreciate the fact that I'm getting more appreciation for my, my work and my soul in itself. Join us as we embark on a journey through the final moments of XXX Tentacion's life, exploring the enigma and tragedy that surrounded this captivating artist. Just 15 minutes after the recorded surveillance footage, XXX Tentacion met a tragic end right in front of that motorcycle store. Inside a black Dodge journey were four individuals, Michael Boatwright, Trayvon Newsom, Robert Allen, and Diedrich Williams. The latter two were spotted on the surveillance footage alongside XXX Tentacion shortly before the fateful event. Why were these two mysterious figures lurking around the motorcycle store? What drove them to commit this heinous act and did they have a personal connection to XXX Tentacion? The Mysterious Figures Following his death, investigators delved into the final ten and a half hours of XXX Tentacion's life, starting at 6 a.m. that morning. Surprisingly, his day began quite uneventfully with a game of League of Legends, which he played for 22 minutes before logging off at 6.27 a.m. It's unclear whether he had been gaming all night or just started his day early with a quick match. Regardless, there was no indication of any premonition about the impending tragedy. However, XXX Tentacion had voiced concerns about his own morality in a December 2017 Instagram livestream six months prior to his demise. During that livestream, he discussed the possibility of his own death and outlined his aspirations for his legacy. I just want everybody to understand to bear with me and um, to be a little understanding and just please, if you're going to hit me up, if you're going to contact me, Please, please don't hit me up asking me for shit. Don't hit me up. Like, if I'm, I'm going to help you guys, I'm going to do everything I can to give back. But it's been very, very hard on me, and I'm very, very tired, and I love you guys enough to explain this shit to you. Please be respectable. Please be understanding, because right now is when I need you guys the most. And this is why I love you guys so much, is because you guys are here for me. So listen, please, please just be here for me rather than than harassing me and making me feel uncomfortable because I've been feeling like I'm very used to having a strong fan base and I've been feeling honestly uncomfortable with everything that's going on. So I need you guys to basically be there for me. I'm going through a hard time. I love you guys. In the aftermath, he had increased his security and vowed never to venture out alone, a decision confirmed by his friend and producer ZX Flow. It was clear he had enemies, and his upbringing in a challenging environment made him acutely aware of the dangers that surrounded him. Early Life and Challenges Growing up in Lauder Hill, Florida, a city ranked as the 8th most dangerous small city in America in 2014, XXX Tentacion's life was shaped by a challenging environment. 
Raised by a mother who worked as a stripper and a father involved in drug dealing, he frequently found himself in fights, almost as if it were a hobby. His early introduction to music through the school choir came to an abrupt end when he was expelled for punching a fellow band member during a public performance. The trend of being kicked out of educational institutions for violent behavior continued as he was expelled from Margate Middle School for kicking another student in the mouth and engaging in a bus fight. His short temper led to his mother kicking him out of their home in the 8th grade, and he moved in with his grandmother, residing in a gated community, known for drug dealing and gang violence, which exposed him to more adversaries. Turning to Music in this challenging environment, XXX Tentacion acquired a firearm and engaged in armed robberies, eventually leading to his first nine-month sentence in a Florida juvenile detention center. While incarcerated, he met Stokely Cleveland Goldburn, who later became known as Ski Mask the Slump God. Despite initially planning a life of crime together after their release, they discovered a mutual interest in freestyle rapping, which prompted them to leave prison. He told me his charges and I was like, this nigga's in here for armed robbery? I'm like, uh, for, for home invasions? I'm like, okay. What really connected us was we would be beatbox, like making beats on the table, on the chairs and shit, and we would just be freestyling. We would just like feed off of each other. Purchased a blue snowball microphone and embark on a considerably safer journey into the world of music. After XXX Tentacion's release from prison, he recorded his first songs, New Flock and Vice City with Ski Mask, expressing a desire to leave his criminal life behind. Over the next four years, music became a daily routine, even on the final day of his life. In the morning, he worked on a new song, Chase Glass Shards. During those hours, he interacted with his girlfriend Genesis, who was feeling unwell. Around 3.11 p.m., X considered buying a new motorcycle and called his mother for company, but she declined. This led to an argument, resulting in her agreeing to accompany Genesis to the doctor. XXX Tentacion, who vowed not to leave the house alone, decided to go to the dealership with his step-uncle. On his way to the bank, he withdrew $50,000 in cash, placing it neatly into his Louis Vuitton bag. This caught the attention of four individuals, Michael Boatwright, Trayvon Newsom, Robert Allen, and Diedrich Williams, hinting at a potential financial motive for the tragic events that followed. Shortly before withdrawing $50,000 in cash, XXX Tentacion secured a deal for his third studio album valued at $10 million. However, his path to success was far from easy. After releasing Vice City in 2014 and expressing his desire to leave a life of crime behind, X continued to make music but struggled to gain recognition. Starting with no following after his prison release, he took a 9-to-5 job as a telemarketer selling electricity. Sudden Success Around a year and a half later, on December 30th, 2015, X released the now infamous Look At Me, which remained relatively unnoticed for over a year before surging in early 2017. His unique style began to amass a dedicated following, and by early 2016, he had gained 18,500 SoundCloud followers. He also became a sought-after guest for interviews, including Adam22's No Jumper podcast. Despite his burgeoning success, X couldn't stay out of legal trouble. Just three months after one interview, he was arrested for robbery and assault with a deadly weapon, posting $10,000 bail. A few months later, he faced another arrest, this time for alleged domestic violence against his girlfriend. Remarkably, for many rappers, brushes with the law boosted their fame, and this third jail stint pushed X's notoriety and music career into the mainstream. In January 2017, X's song Look At Me, which had been out for over a year, unexpectedly reached number 34 on the US Billboard Hot 100 while he was in prison. His newfound notoriety led to six-figure record label offers and he spent six months behind bars. After his release in April 2017, he received a $6 million deal for his second album, in just a year and three months, X transitioned from a prison-bound underground artist to a multi-millionaire mainstream celebrity. The Mysterious Cash Withdrawal However, his decision to withdraw $50,000 in cash on his final day remains a mystery. 
This decision led to a fateful encounter with four perpetrators at Revere Motorsports at 3.30 p.m. Two of them, Robert Allen and Diedrich Williams, walked beside X while he looked at bikes. And at 3.55 p.m., they blocked his exit with a black Dodge Journey. After a brief struggle, two masked men took X's Louis Vuitton bag and gold chain. The shocking event unfolded even after the robbery was seemingly over. In the hours after X's death, Diedrich Williams, one of the suspects, recorded a video joyfully flaunting $100 bills and spent $800 on designer clothes in Fort Lauderdale. Police found a $400 receipt for clothing and shoes in Michael Boatwright's trash, purchased 13 days after X's death. While these individuals revealed their ill-gotten gains, X's music career soared posthumously. Posthumous Success Sales of his first album, 17, increased by 9,000%, and his second album, Question Mark, saw a remarkable 41 to 306% spike within 24 hours of his death, as reported by Hypebeast. His monthly YouTube music viewership surged from 150 million to 400 million, contributing to the enduring value of his music. It was almost like karma, a belief X held. X had been to prison twice for armed robbery, and his own death during an armed robbery might be seen as the karmic cycle realigning itself. Nevertheless, the decisions made by those involved in the killing were incredibly foolish. Bullet castings, matching guns, and Diedrich Williams purchasing a neoprene mask minutes before the robbery was all provided clear evidence. Over the following two months, each of the four men was arrested, fingerprinted, and underwent pre-examination. Yet, almost four years later, they still await trial without any charges. Despite this, XXX Tentacion's father, Dwayne Enfroy, has not hesitated to express his wishes for the perpetrators. In the tumultuous journey of XXX Tentacion's life, marked by struggles, legal troubles, and artistic ambition, he managed to overcome adversity and rise to the prominence in the world of music. His unique style and devoted fan base propelled him to stardom even as he grappled with the complexities of fame and personal challenges. Tragically, his life was cut short in a violent encounter that left a void in the music industry and the hearts of his dedicated followers. Yet, his music continues to resonate and his story serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of life. If you like this kind of story, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching.